For more on this test this weekend, let's check in now with WJZ's Mark Viviano. Hello, Mark. How you doing, Tom? Yeah, for the better part of a decade, the American League East was ruled by the Yankees and the Red Sox. Well, Tampa Bay has made that a ruling trio since they made it to the World Series in 2008 and have made themselves perennial playoff contenders. So for the Orioles, every game they play against a team like Tampa Bay is a big game. As the Orioles team president, Andy McPhail himself, has said, Tampa Bay has provided the blueprint for the rebuild the Orioles themselves want to do. So I put the question to these Orioles now that they appear revitalized under new manager Buck Showalter. How important are these games against Tampa Bay now, and is there added significance that Tampa Bay is in the pennant race? My personal attitude is just go out and play the game hard to try and win. It doesn't matter who we're playing. And, uh, you know, Tampa is a very good team. You know, they're in the race, and, uh, you know, it's the East, you know, so it's, it's uh, going to be some good baseball. You get in, when you are facing a team that's fighting for something as they are, do you feel a different intensity in the competition beyond your own desire to do so every day? Yeah, there, I mean, there'll be, and you know, they're going to be, you know, their, their effort level is going to be a little bit higher than someone who's, you know, you know, out of out of the race, uh, they're going to be, you know, really really playing really hard to to make sure they beat us. So, um, you know, for me, just as a competitor, I just you know want to try to rise to that level and and you know just win a game. And the numbers show you what Tampa Bay is doing again this year. Their record is second best in baseball, trailing only the Yankees. And yes, the Rays lead in the wild card race. They've won seven of nine against the O's. They can score runs and they can pitch. And in their brief history, Tampa Bay's 107 victories against the Orioles is the most wins they've had against any team. I had a chance to chat with Rays manager Joe Madden, who continues to sing the praises of the fast improving Orioles. He has uh, He's on the lookout as the O's roll in here with Buck Showalter on a bit of a roll themselves, guys. Well, Mark, it's Friday the 13th, obviously. There are a lot of superstitions in baseball. Have you found any superstitions about the, uh, the Orioles? Well, what's funny, Tom, is that the Orioles, when they come to St. Petersburg, they stay at the Vinoy Hotel, which is renowned, depending on how seriously you want to take it, for being haunted. Well, last night, one of the Oriole rookies, who will remain nameless, uh, asked one of uh, the other players to check his room before he himself went in there. Had a look in the closets, had a look under the bed. Superstitions are such that guys know they exist, but they don't like to talk about them. Terry Crowley told me this story. When staying at the Vinoy Hotel, Jay Gibbons once said he plugged in his uh, alarm clock, his, uh, his radio clock alarm, set it, walked away, came back, it was unplugged. So you get a lot of stories like that from the Vinoy, even more eerie on Friday the 13th. Back to you.